I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, there he is dressed as a chef. He's not a chef. And you'd be right in one way, but I like to think that I'm sort of a chef, aren't I? I mean, if what does a chef do? They take a bunch of things and they mix them all up together and they, and they, and they give them to you to, to consume. And I guess that's what I'm doing, aren't I? With my videos, I give you some of my ideas mixed with a few different bits, of, bits and pieces of video, different roles and footage. And then I serve them up here through the various platforms. And, um, and hopefully you, um, I wet your whistles with them. You, I'd explained that to my wife the other day and then as a bit of a joke I went and got this chef's outfit and I'd start uh, wearing it when I was doing my video editing. Now it started as a joke but it really was very useful for me as a way to uh, define when I was at work and when I was at home because like many people I'm working at home at the moment I'm doing a lot of my video editing here right in the domestic space and so what I like to do is on a day when I'm going to be doing some editing I, I put on this uniform and it's a way to signify to my wife, to myself and to my neighbours in a way that I'll actually be doing some work today, so don't don't come with your uh, regular pleasantries. Don't expect me to interact in that way. I am working, and so I guess that's how uniforms work for everyone, don't they? I was thinking about uh, our chefs, celebrity chefs that I've known of in the past, and one that sprung to mind was uh, the very first one I ever saw was a guy that used to come on TV, and he had a song at the start that used to go, "Come and get it, come and get it." Actually, the song would go, "Diddle diddle ding ding ding, come and get it, come and get it." I always thought that was quite strange because, I mean, I think the implication is dinner's ready, come and get it. But when I think about the way that my mother would say that, she would go, come and get it, come and get it. And I think my, perhaps the, it just didn't fit in with the original song that they had because he, the way that they say it is much more aggressive, it's much more a demand than an offer. And that's the difficult thing, isn't it, with, uh, with any slogan or anything that you might write that... Uh, you take a simple sentence, come and get it, come and get it. And there's so many different interpretations of that. If I say it as, come and get it, come and get it, and I put the emphasis on the come, come and get it, come and get it, uh, it's more like, why don't you come and get it, come and get it, rather than if I say, come and get it, come and get it. What about, come and get it. Come and get it. Come and get it. Come and get it. And in that, when we think about that, come and get it. Come and get it. What is the get? I mean, in a way, that's what I'm asking you guys to do, isn't it? To, to understand, like, get it. Or, come and get it. Come and get it. When that final version, you're really putting more emphasis on the it. What is it? I want you to be asking that to yourselves. Come and get it. Come and get it. What is it? I mean, in, in Peter's case, or my mother's, it, it was the food, but what about now when I'm asking you, come and get it, come and get it. And it could be this video, or is it the, the concept? I'm asking you to get the concept. Um, well, really, it's difficult because I'm, the concept's more about how difficult it might be to get a concept, but it's, uh, I'm yelling that out over the internet, aren't I? Well, I'm not. Well, I do, I put it on my Instagram. I say, come and get it, come and get it, it's ready. Come and give me a like, have a little. And then have a like, but the gallery that's asked for this, um, they'll be putting it on their social media and they'll be saying, they'll be putting out a release and it's come and get it, come and get it. Which will ask people to come along. Um, or also maybe they're, they're maybe you're getting this, maybe it's in a gallery, maybe it's in the future because that's the thing about um, making videos like this. It's a bit like time travel where I'm making this now about something in the past but it goes off into the future, doesn't it? Because you could be anywhere. You could be a young, uh, young woman that strolled off the street to the Guggenheim and now you're looking at this wonderful video that I made 14 years ago in, in uh, Sydney, Australia. You won't know that. I'm just on a TV or a hologram. Probably one of those VR headsets at this stage in the future. Who knows? That's the thing about the future. You don't know what it is. It's unwritten, they say. Just as well, because I've already uh, pointed out the difficulty sometimes in the written word. Come and get it. Come and get it. But what's the it? And that's the real question that I'm asking you, and I, I hope that you're asking yourself as you're watching this video, what is the it? Do I get it? I came and came and got it. That's what I hope you say at the end of it. 
came and, and or I came and got it. For example of how the memes work, I was thinking of, uh, there's, a, there's a Nirvana song that's called um, Come As You Are, and I was thinking, wouldn't it be funny if I somehow combined those things, the, the two songs together, this old jingle from the 80s, as well as a very famous song by Nirvana. But the question is, do we have it as come as you are and get it? Or is it funny if it's come and get it, come and get it as you are? And who knows, I don't know if, if either of those are that funny, but I do know that if I made those, if I made that right now, um, which I will, and I'll put it up here, and, I'll, and I'll, I'll let you be the judge, I think people will, someone out there will get a kick out of that, I'm not sure who, I don't even think it's that funny, but I, I do have the skills there, and I'm already in the, in the workman's outfit here, so I'm going to be work person's outfit, I, I am going to be able to, uh, to, to whip that up and, uh, and put it on the internet, and, and we'll see, we'll see where the meme of that goes. Um, On a side note, I, I convinced a friend that I'd got the job being the uh, the social media manager for YoPlay Australia, and I convinced him that uh, the new character I was we were pushing forward that I'd invented was called Gert Cobain, and uh, that was quite funny until YoPlay Australia shut me down. Um, I didn't even know they still existed, but they apparently I got a cease and desist and they shut down my Insta Instagram account. So that was a that was a bit of fun while it lasted, and then it. Um, not so fun after that though, but... Uh, Siri. Hey Siri, what is yogurt in French? <coughs> hey Scott, how's it going mate? Um, thanks for... Thanks for calling me. Um, uh, you bloody... You caught me at a bit of a weird time. I'm here. I'm, I'm shooting, a, shooting one of my um, videos for the online uh, COVID stuff and, and it's i mean i don't know what it means anymore i was getting stuck for ideas it's um it's sort of about uh, peter russell clark remember him and, and the come and get it and 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 I'm, I'm talking about what the come and get it means and different ways to talk about it and just more about uh, i guess i'm thinking about repetition and and um and uh and the difficulty in language sometimes of, of describing something you know putting the emphasis on different parts of language and what that means when you put things together and some of the confusion that comes from that but I don't want to bore you with that, mate. <laughs> and you always come up with the good ideas. All right, thanks, mate. I, I don't know how good an idea it is. Just um, I don't know where they come from, really. I just start thinking out. And then the main thing is I do them. When they come up, I, I do them. So. I just wanted to give you a quick buzz to see how you're doing. And, mate, you, not surprisingly, you seem to be doing pretty well. And more importantly, you're helping a lot of other people uh, do a lot better too. Oh, mate, that's, that's very nice of you to, to say, and it, and it means a lot coming from, from someone like you. I mean, I consider you've helped a lot of people. I've been looking at your Instagram, and you're always making those curries and um, encouraging people to, to do the jigsaw puzzles and things like that. And so that means a, a lot from you that you would consider that the very small thing that I'm doing with these internet videos or whatever, that that's helping people. It's been a hard year with COVID. People need hope, and what you're doing, I think, reminds people that it uh, doesn't matter who you are or where you are, you can always make a difference. And so I yeah. bet you, your parents are still pleased as punch with you, mate, and very proud of what you're doing, and so they should be. Look, I don't know. To tell you the truth, I don't know about what my parents must think if they're pleased as punch. It's been a long time since I've thought about that, but um, I mean, I hope I hope they, they get something out of what I'm doing. I, and uh, it's great how you just keep sticking at it. How, how many years has it been now? Uh, I think, well, all up, it's probably been over 20 years for, for the art stuff. Um, and But if I think about just these memes, more the memes and the videos and that sort of stuff, well, that's probably three years that I've been doing that a lot. Ooh, it seems like a lot less than that. That's really flown by those three years. Yeah, so. but look, when you do something you love, um, it, it does feel like it goes pretty quick. But three years, that's a big <laughs> effort. Yeah. To keep going. <laughs> And to maintain it, you know, not run yeah. off and get distracted. I think that's tremendous how you've done that. And I think okay. it's a good good example yeah. to others as well. To, when you make a commitment like this, you hang in there, you stick at it, and that's what you're doing. So Thank well done. Ah, uh, Thanks. Yeah, well, thanks. And, and again, I have stuck in, in it. And in some ways, I wish I hadn't. I don't think I've got much choice anymore. I really am stuck in it. I've, I've been doing it for so long. There's really no alternative. This is the only thing that I get some money from. 
we're working on a ware in a, in a warehouse or doing some construction stuff or whatnot. But keep giving me some money to do some of these videos. So that's why I'm really doing it. And look, to tell you the truth, oh, I, I can't really do anything else. So um, I mean, I've stuck I've stuck with it and, and getting some reward. But um, yeah, thanks very much. That's a, that's nice of you to say, Scotty. Um, and and same with you. You've stuck at your job as well. And, and, and so I yeah. bet you. Your parents are still pleased as punch with you, mate, and very proud of what you're doing, and so they should be. I, I guess uh, thanks, and and maybe they are. I mean, you already said that about my parents, so I don't I, I don't really think about it that much, to tell you the truth. So maybe they are, and maybe they aren't. Don't know. And so I yeah. bet you your parents are still pleased as punch with you, mate, and very proud of what you're doing, and so they should be. Yeah, it's funny, Scott, because when you when you keep saying it like that, it, it starts to um, sort of feel like you you don't think my parents would be. Um, pleased. I mean, I, I must admit, I am feeling pretty self-conscious here because you, you're calling me up and I'm dressed as a chef. I mean, you keep talking about my parents being proud of me. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure really what to, how to make how to take that. Your parents are still pleased as punch with you, mate, and very proud of what you're doing, and so they should be. See you, Scott.